Okay, so today I just want to look at how I can use OBS with this new button it has here that says virtual camera, start virtual camera. And what that button's going to allow me to do is take this OBS software, the same thing we've been using for morning announcements, and set it up so that I can use it as a camera in software like Google Meet. It's going to give me some extra options like using green screens as well as the ability to share my screen which has been a problem lately with google meet that they haven't quite fixed yet and this is current as of october 15th 2020 so let's look at just how i would set this up in general um, obs consists of scenes that are then comprised of sources so the first source i'm going to add here will be a video capture device meaning my camera so I'll just call it uh, webcam, say OK, and there we go. There's my Logitech webcam uh, that I have all set up and ready to go. Say OK. So now I have a camera on screen that I can use. I'm going to just drag him a bunch bigger. There I go. So now I have a camera on screen. And I could leave it at that if I wanted to. I could then hit start virtual camera and I can jump into a Google Meet. So I'll drag one of those over right now. I'm going to go to meet.google.com. I'm going to start a new meeting with a nickname and I'll just call it uh, OBS demo. And can you now in this case, there we go. If I go to settings, I'll see show you what's going on here. I jumped right in because I've set this up before when I've been messing around, but typically it will default to, say, your webcam possibly. But if it does that, then when you first launch your uh, Google Meet here, you'll get this. Camera failed because my camera's been being used right now by OBS. So you'll click the settings button. You'll come to your video options. And you're going to go ahead and choose OBS virtual camera. And so I do that, it's going to start back up again. Plantronics, good. That's my headset. So I'm going to make sure that's all okay. And I'm good to go. So I can join this meeting. And my camera's there. So it's going to work that way for me, which is nice. Let me just get this down out of the way for a sec. And now from inside OBS, what else can I do here? Well, as I suggested, we've had some trouble sharing screens with um, the current version right now of Google Meet. It's just giving us some grief in terms of actually being able to do that. So one of the other things I can add in OBS here is what they call a, let's see, not browser necessarily. I want to go display capture. I want to get my entire screen. So it doesn't matter if I'm on a browser or I'm using PowerPoint or I'm just anything really so I say display capture say okay and there's the screen that I'm currently on now I have two screens set up so I'm actually just going to grab the other one to make this easier and say okay so now I've got my camera here or my sorry not my camera my other screen and I can bring that up and put it right there that would be the first way that I could set that up. And that's an active screen. I can go there and look up whatever I need to look up. And it's a functioning web browser. It's a functioning screen. It's just showing my other monitor. So that'd be perfect for being able to demo stuff in Meet. Because if I were to bring up my Meet page now that we have running, you will see, of course, that it is actually showing my screen, what I've been showing. Now in this little demo, as you're staring at it, you're getting confused because it's backwards and you may have never noticed before, but Google Meet will show you your camera, your own reflection essentially, um, backwards from what the rest of the world is seeing. So that's why here on OBS, it looks totally normal. And I promise to the rest of my Google Meet participants, it looks completely normal. It's only to myself that it actually looks backwards. So that would be one way to do that. And it means that I would have to click this little eyeball here next to display capture to make that go away. And I'd be back onto my regular screen. And I can do that again and again and switch back and forth that way. Now, alternatively, what I could do is say, you know what, this scene is going to be my webcam. And maybe I'm going to add some other stuff to it and do some things here. Um, so I'll set up another scene over here. And I'll call that um, my desktop. 
And it's on this one that I'll go ahead and throw in my display capture option. So there we go. Let's open a new tab so we know what we're looking at. There we go. And as you can tell, I can t manipulate that. I can make that smaller. I can put other stuff over at the side if I wanted to. But in this case, I would want that to be fairly large. And then maybe I'll just move it up a bit so that you see the web page. Um, but that's what I'm going to be displaying to the people in my meeting. If that's all you want to be able to do is just have your webcam in there and then also have uh, the ability to share your screen in a Google Meet, you're done. That's it right there. If you want to take it just slightly farther, then on things like this where I've got my camera set up, um, obviously I've got a green screen behind me. I'm going to right click that and come all the way to the bottom and choose filters. And I can add here by right clicking again, what they call chroma key, which is the green screen ability. So I'm going to click okay on that. The default is green. And so it immediately took all that green away. And I'm just going to run with that. I'm going to say close at the bottom here. And now the entire background is just out of there it's just gone and it means that i can start dropping in other stuff so maybe i want to add here an image i'll grab an image i'm going to browse on my machine here for a second and grab i don't know i'll grab that one okay and there it is nice big picture right on screen but of course it doesn't really work if the goal was for me to be on screen as well because as you add things into the sources here you actually need to think about the way this is layered so if the image right now is on top of the webcam that's not going to work i need to grab the image and drag that down so it's below the webcam and now of course i'm quite literally on top of the image so that way i can give myself a nice fancy background while i'm in my google meet and again, just to show you what the meat looks like, I can come over here. I can drag that back on screen so you can see what's going on. And there's my Google Meet with my green screen background in Google Meet. And of course, at any time, I can go ahead and just switch to the other scene here. And immediately, my Google Meet is showing my desktop again. So it makes going back and forth pretty quick and simple. I can just click like that and go back and forth between what I'm sharing on my desktop and my actual camera. And if you want to get take it a little further after that, I have another scene collection set up already where I can come in here and I've turned on a whole bunch of things. So I've got a whole tick error like we do with our morning announcements, a whole sidebar set up, um, and then, of course, my green screen and a background as well. So you can take this a little further if you want to start bringing in more and more information into your sources and getting all that set up, which, of course, we have information about adding all that stuff on our doc. When you click on technology services, you go to the support documents and videos, and there's a section there for OBS, the open broadcaster software. So that is what you would do if you want to start utilizing OBS to share your screen in Google Meet, or maybe you just want to get a little fancier with green screens and additional features and such within Google Meet.